Rosalind St. Clair from the incredible movie Belfast, which opens in theatres tomorrow. Congratulations on what I honestly think is a, a, a masterpiece in filmmaking. All of the performances are incredible. It's such a beautifully made piece. I know that you're unbelievably proud of it. It's, it's so personal to you in, in so many ways. Explain to anyone who doesn't know what the film's about. So it's semi-autobiographical, like uh, Kenneth Branagh, who's our writer and director, who a lot of people don't even realise this about Ken, but he was born in Northern Ireland, in Belfast, uh, lived in a working class uh, uh, estate called Tigers Bay in North Belfast. And when he was nine years old in 1969, the beginning of the conflict that went on for 30 years, known as the Troubles, uh, his family made a choice to uh, get out and, and find a sort of safer passage somewhere else. Uh, so I play his father, uh, Katrina Balfe, you saw there, plays his mother, Judy Dench, plays my mother, Kieran Hines, plays my dad, and this young, um, unbelievable kid, Jude Hill, who's only 10 years old, uh, is our lead. And uh, incredibly emotional and poignant film for me, being from that place. And it, Belfast has never been depicted in this way before, mm. through this lens before, so it's a very important film for, for me personally. And I think it resonates with, it's essentially about a family. And that's why it seems to be resonating with people all over the place, because everyone can understand what they're going through. And it also places that, uh, you know, have tribalism and civil unrest and, and uh, you know, sectarianism, which is not just Belfast thing, it's, it's the world over. So it seems to uh, be resonating with a lot of people. And I'm, yeah, I'm very, very proud of it. I'm so happy for you that it's Thank getting you. the response it deserves. It's pretty yeah. cool. Can I just say, it's pre it's pre I was just saying to Jamie, it's pretty cool, like, and for all of us, like, we we did we were just messing around in LA a bunch like however many years ago yeah. and like just trying to live the dream right trying mm. to like do do work that mm. we are proud of mm. and there is a, a sincere sweet thing happening here where we get to be on this couch with yeah. you and like like see that come to fruition and like yeah. we, we we we've done stuff yeah. that we can be proud of so it's like and for you as well, like, you know, what, what you've done here is crazy, man. You've created a whole, a whole universe here. I know, back then in 2008, I was like, I'll just, all I, all I want is just to not be wearing a suit every day, sitting at a desk. You know? <laughs> <laughs> here you are. Here we are. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. Just need a second. <laughs> it's a really nice suit. It's a nice desk. It's a lovely desk. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Imagine if I just yeah, ran out of the studio. Thought. I never came. Back. Existential. Like... That is a lovely thing to say. No, now, it's the truth. Jamie, you just mentioned the great Dame Judi Dench plays your yeah. mother in the film. There's a photo here. I absolutely love this photo. It's the whole family's at a, a, a cinema together. I've been lucky enough to to work with her and cross paths with her a lot. I mean. It must have just been an absolute delight and a dream to work with her, right? Ah, oh, listen, she's the best. She's got the reputation she has for a reason. You know, she's as Kieran Hines, who plays her her husband, my father, and it says she's a rebel. You know, that yeah. pretty much sums her up. And she's just got this twinkle in her eye at all times. She just wants to have fun. She's yeah. brilliant at what she does, but just wants to have fun. And that was a brilliant time. Could we? So the family go to the cinema a lot in the uh, in in the movie. And uh, we were watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang at that point. And I turned around to Judy at one point. Um, we're sort of watching it over and over for takes, you know, and I said, Jesus, Judy, how many times have you seen Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? And she goes, never. I said, what do you mean, never? I've never seen Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. She said, I went to the cinema when I was a kid and I saw Bambi, I saw Dumbo, and I saw Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, and they were all just horrifically <laughs> sad. Traumatic. Yeah. Traumatic, traumatic, totally traumatic separating yeah. mothers from yeah. babies, killing mothers. Yeah. And I just said, it just put her off the cinema for life. <laughs> yeah. So, Judy Dench has never seen any films. I was like, I'm going to test you. Have you seen The, the Godfather? And she goes, good heavens, no. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for our guest this evening? <laughs> I do. Tonight's question. Here it is. If you had a, a t well, OK, like, let's say you were on an ice rink. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, they placed a bunch of different uh, cakes around you. and. Each of those cakes are rotating on their own platter, so they're, they're rotating cakes, and they're kind of spread around the rink, yeah. and then they led you to the middle of the ice, uh, and then they just turned off all the lights. Uh, what, what, what do you think about that? <laughs> Can we both answer? Yeah. Do you want to go first? I, 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 think, I, think, it's, I think it's cool. I, I think it's really cool.
I'm scared. <laughs> I'd be scared. I'd be. I'd be scared. All right. Yeah, that's about right. That's correct. Yeah. It's absolutely correct, ladies and gentlemen. Please thank Andrew Garfield, Jamie Donnan. Stick around. Laurie Kilmartin's here when we come back. 